I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on continuous probability distribution. We are now exploring probability density function to see how it could be utilized to find mean mode and median. We'll talk about mode in this particular video. The question here is, a continuous random variable x has probability density function f of x equals to 6 times square root of x minus x where x is between 0 to 1, find the mode. Now mode means most frequent, correct? So mode means most frequent. How do we find most frequent value? Now in a continuous random variable x has probability density as given here, then mode we could find by differentiating this function and finding the value of x, right? So to find mode, we will differentiate the given function, which is to us six times, let me write like this, square root x minus six uh, x. Now, if you differentiate this function, what do you get? You get six times square root x derivative will be one over two square root x and the derivative of minus 6x is going to be minus 6. Now let's find the critical number. That is when the derivative is equal to 0. So equating this to 0, well, we could write this as 3 over square root x minus 6 equal to 0. So that gives us 3 over square root x is equal to 6 and cross multiply so we get what? We get square root of x is equal to 3 over 6 which is half or x is equal to square so we get 1 over 4. So at x equals to 4, we do have a critical number. Now we need to verify that this really uh, represents a maximum. So for that, let's find the second derivative, right? So, so the second derivative, we have the function f dash x as 3 over square root x minus 6. The second derivative of this function is going to be, now this is x to the power of minus half, right? So we get uh, three times, or let me rewrite this, x to the power of minus half minus x. So that gives you three times with a negative sign, half x to the power of minus three by two minus zero, right? So what do you notice here? That this is negative. So we have negative three over 2 x cube. Now since the second derivative is less than 0, we have maximum at x equals to 1 over 4. Right. So we get the maximum value at 1 over 4. So x equals to 1 over 4 is the mode. So that is how you could actually find the mode from given probability density function. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'll be good. Thanks for watching and all the best.